If you at all consider yourself to be a creative person, you've probably experienced the tension between making things, being in production mode, and building your skills, exploring new tools, practicing something that you haven't done before. Today I want to explore that space, that tension, by sketching out a simple little diagram here, specifically a Venn diagram, where we've got production, represented by this circle, and practice, represented by this one. When you're in production mode, what you're focused on is making and shipping things. So you've got a little bit of a conveyor belt feeling where you're in this mode of just keeping up with the work that's in front of you. You've got plenty on your plate and your focus is on that making and shipping of creative work. Practicing feels very different from production. Here, what you're doing is a bit more exploratory. You are building your skills. You are leveling up your capacities. You are focused on skill development. So this is where you're perhaps learning how to do more with the tools that you're already familiar with, or perhaps learning how to use completely new tools in the service of future work that you can produce and ship. In many ways, these two activities of production and practice live at opposite ends of a spectrum. That spectrum being your relationship with time. Over here, there's often a sense of time pressure. You have certain things that you need to get done within a certain time frame. And over here, you've got time freedom. You have the space to explore those new skills, to experiment with things that might not work out, to focus just on your development as a creator within the craft that you've chosen to focus on without worrying about the results. But as suggested by this Venn diagram and this spectrum of time, it's not just a binary. We've actually got three distinct modes that you might be in, three places where you might live. Let's give each of those a name. One way you might think about this space here is by being in beast mode. This is where you're focused on production. You've got your head down, you're doing the work as well as you can, but also as quickly as you can. If you're in this space here where you're still focused on production, but you've got a little bit of time freedom to perhaps do some practicing, some skills, skill development, let's call this balanced mode. And then let's call this third section over here where your focus is exclusively on practice, on skill development. Let's call this one broaden mode. Because here what you're doing is you're broadening your skills. You're broadening the tools with which you're able to do your work. There's an expansive feel to being in this mode, both because of the time freedom and because of what you're exploring. This feels much more like a contraction. There's time pressure on you, perhaps social pressure, financial pressure, work pressure around whatever it is that you're making, the deadlines in front of you, the expected quality, and the simple demand of getting that thing done and out there. So the first thing I encourage you to do is ask yourself, which of these three modes are you in? At any given time, you're gonna live in one of these three spaces. Perhaps you're in balanced mode, where yes, there is some time pressure, you've got something to work on, a deadline coming up in the future, but you've got enough space to do some practice, some skill development alongside the production of whatever it is you're making. And the reason I wanted to sketch this out is because I think it is helpful to identify which of these zones you're in right now and also acknowledge that you get to walk around within this space and that there is value in each of these locations. It can be a worthwhile experience to spend some time in beast mode, focusing on production with your head down, doing important, meaningful work and getting it out there. But staying in this mode indefinitely is not sustainable, which is why if you're creating maybe a certain publishing schedule for yourself, if you're negotiating workflow with your employer or manager, as you're setting up systems for how you approach your days and your weeks, I think a useful goal is this balanced mode where you have enough pressure, enough incentive to make progress on projects that you do plan to ship, but you also have enough time to develop new skills and explore possibilities while you're in the midst of that project. New skills and new capacities that will likely make that end product better by the time you do ship it. 
So this is a pretty great place to be, a thing to shoot for as you're establishing your systems, but do try to make time for space when you can exist right here where your only job is to broaden your skill set. because when you're in that expansive mode, you'll make discoveries, you'll build certain skills that you wouldn't necessarily have had time for if you're in this balanced mode, and then especially when you're in beast mode. Spending time in this mode right here reminds me of an idea that I explored before with this concept of a skill building, bringing in a metaphor from writer Chris Windley, who acknowledged that it's okay to stay on the current floor of whatever skill level you're at. As creative people, as folks working in the modern landscape, there is a pressure to always be improving, to always be leveling up your skills, but it's okay to stay at the floor that you're at right now and just focus on doing good work with your current capabilities. For me, that's what production mode is all about. And this is probably the mode that I'm in right now as I focus on making weekly YouTube videos and developing a handful of other projects behind the scenes. Not too long ago though, I was more in practice mode. Specifically, I was focusing on building my visual vocabulary, the icons and the diagrams that I'm comfortable drawing. When in this mode, I intentionally start my day with some practice activities, specifically this little shoebox with index cards where I write a word or concept or visual metaphor on one side, do a little pencil sketch on the back, and then I use these as flashcards to see if I can draw a genie in a bottle as a metaphor, or a line chart as a visual framework, or simple things like a credit card, or a piggy bank, or jumping for joy. That's the type of practice activity that I don't always make space for if I'm in the midst of heavy production. So what I've slowly embraced for myself and what I encourage for you is to walk along this line. Even if your preferred space is this balanced mode, acknowledge that in some seasons, you're gonna be over here in heavy production, and that hopefully you can balance that out with other seasons where you're exclusively in practice mode. I developed this simple little model here in response to some common questions that were coming up within verbal to visual the space where I teach visual thinking skills, as people were trying to develop some routines, some habits around building these skills, but also making interesting things with them. And this is kind of what we landed on, acknowledging that sometimes you can be in that heavy production mode, other times you can lean on practicing, and that it's okay and even good for you to shift through those different modes over time. So I hope this model helps you to acknowledge where you are right now and identify in what direction you might like to move in the future. I appreciate you hanging out with me today. If you feel like it, drop a note below this video letting me know what mode you're in right now. Perhaps what creative work you're up to or what specific skills you're focusing on developing. And if you happen to find yourself either in balance mode or broad mode and want to develop these skills, the skill of visual thinking, then check out the resources at verbaltovisual.com. I'd love to help you bring more clarity to your work with simple visual representations like this one. And I'd love to hear about what specifically it is that you're building, what creative work you're doing. I've recently begun hosting monthly live Q&A events for anyone who's picked up one or more of our online courses. And it was actually in yesterday's live event that we chatted about these topics. So it felt like a good time to make this video. So if you wanna build your skills and hang out with creative visual thinkers from around the globe, come check us out. In the meantime, good luck, no matter what mode you're in right now. And I'll see you again in the next video. Till then.